Hello and welcome to Platypus Scotsman. Hope everything is treating you fine today. And for those who are returning, welcome back. And for those newcomers, welcome. Hope you enjoy this video. We're doing a gallows today. It's pretty straightforward. There's not a whole lot to it. And I mean, you hang somebody. Kind of morbid, but that's the truth of it all. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to add some things to it that I want to, to give a little bit more interest is a lack of a better word for it, but that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah, but before we roll, I wanna thank our patrons that have chose to support us. I appreciate that uh, and your donations. I appreciate it very much. Uh, but without further ado, let's go. Go ahead and start the gallows. This is all leftover material from the altar that I did. And what I'm gonna do now is I need more of the framework. So I'm gonna use a wire brush to get wood grain in this basswood. This is basswood and this is balsa wood. Basswood is tougher than balsa. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the basswood that I just put grains in. And I'm going to put, cut five and a half inch lengths using my hobby saw. Now that all the pieces are cut out, I'm going to use some turbo tacky glue. And I'm going to, I don't know why I said it that way, but I'm going to go ahead and glue these together. And I'm going to use my board to keep the angles square as possible. This is all dry now, so I'm just going to glue these pieces on. When it's all glued, I'm going to flip it over and I'll put some more sports in the middle. But for now, I'm just going to glue these pieces on right now. I'll keep the everything over here lined up. And then I'll cut this off when it dries. I don't mind doing that because I use a lot of spare pieces for projects like this. When I use uh when I do other projects where there might be rubble or debris. So it's not that critical for me. If I was to cut all these pieces originally, I'd cut I'd try to cut them all to the correct length so I didn't have a lot of waste. Now this is all dry, I'm just going to cut these pieces off. Okay, I made this cross beam that the rope's going to hang from. What I want to do is I want the side post to be on a, like this, but I want this cross beam to go through a hole like this. So it supports on the side. And what I, how I did that was, I haven't done this one yet. I just, I, sca I just scored the hole. Oh, first off, sorry. I traced the hole. I eyeballed it where I wanted, just traced the hole, the size of this. And the first attempt usually, usually isn't the, the width that I wanted. And then I just score it like this. Kind of as deep as I can. Try not to go too far because I don't want to split the sides. And then I'll just, whoops, see like that. I don't want to do that. I have cut them out with X-Acto knife before, but I actually bought some little teeny chisels. 
just for this reason. And then I'll keep doing this. There's probably better ways to do it, I'm sure. This is just the how I do it. And then I'll just keep going with the X-Acto knife, making little cuts, using the chisel until I work all the way through the piece of wood. I've cut some two inch posts for the bottom and I'm just gonna glue them in. Uh, I've also cut some 45s. I've used the, the line on the mat here and just cut some 45s with an X-Acto knife. Looks fairly straight up and down, so I'm gonna do that to the other four and the other three, can't count. And then I'll get back to you. To give this a little bit of character, this is a Sylvaneth piece uh, that my friend Scooter gave me. Actually, I took it out of his bit, bit box. He doesn't know I have it yet, uh, but he will once he sees this. Uh, and then I'm gonna glue it onto this, and once it's dry, I'm gonna put some Milliput on there. I'm gonna try to make it look like it's part of the, the overall piece to where it looks like it's just kind of, I don't know, enchanted in a way. So I'm gonna glue that in, then I'll get back to you once I have the milliput mixed. Milliput is two-part epoxy. And I'm just gonna twist it together and get it all happy to each other. I don't know what that meant. This is a sculpting tool. I'm just getting the end of it wet. So I'll end up doing this and I'll put wood grain in it just to match this, probably with an X-Acto knife. So it just kind of looks like it's part of the whole thing. And hopefully I can pull it off. Now that everything's all dry, I'm gonna put these in here and glue them together. The main reason I cut these holes is just to add character to this piece, just so it's not kind of braced, just to give it a little bit different look. And plus, as I was thinking about it, I wanna kind of add a few things to it as well. I don't know, I probably shouldn't have done that right, right then, oh well. And this is why I should have done it when I already had most of it pushed through. All right, I cut some angle pieces already that I'm gonna glue to the sides to support them, just to support them. I'm just gonna eyeball it where it goes. And I am. Just so I don't screw it up, I'm gonna let that one set up because I get impatient at times and I go faster than I should and I end up screwing things up. So I'm just gonna let this one set up first. It's where I want it, it's lined up pretty good and then uh, I'll do the rest. So what I'm gonna do now is cut parts for the stairs while it's drying. I've already cut one out just to see how I do it and it's pretty rudimentary, but it'll work. Oh, I just used my mat for 45. And I did put wood grain in with a wire brush like I did on other things. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace this out. And start cutting away. Probably several ways you can do this. One is you could do it with a saw. I'm gonna actually do it with a blade. Try not to cut my fingers. When I do it this way, when I get towards the end, I just want to make sure that I don't bust off the p uh, the end piece. So I kind of just do it in little pieces. I'm not applying a ton of pressure, 
and just rocking it back and forth. And as it gets closer, I'll just kind of whittle it down in. And for this gallows, I don't care if it's perfect. I just want it to resemble stairs. All right, I have everything cut out as well as I want them cut out. And I have some pieces left over from the church, uh, sides, so I just use those, cut them down to size. And now I'm just gonna glue these on here. And then I'm just gonna glue the bottom one down here, just keep them to the same width. So I'm gonna take some beading wire now and just make some rope. And all I do is just twist it, clamp it on one end and then just twist it around. What I'm gonna do now is make the noose and nothing fancy. Flip it around something that's kind of round and then twist. The one thing I want to do though is at the top of the noose, I kind of want to show that there's a little bit of gravity, so I just want to pinch the top a little bit. So that's a little bit more narrow than the bottom. Like so, and then I'll choose a place to on this to about right there. It's even with the other one. My big old paws are in the way. I'm just going to wrap it around. without breaking the horns off the tree lord's head. And the last one, I'm just gonna twist it around. Then once I do that, I'll cut it off. And now I'm just gonna glue them into place. Just so they don't shift on me. And then once this is all dry, I'm gonna spray paint it. I'm gonna prime the metal in the tree lord's head. Now that everything's on there, I'm gonna paint it with burnt umbar for the base coat. Everything's dry, so I'm gonna start doing some known oil wash or shade or whatever. You can mix your own because it is kind of pricey to do this. These aren't cheap. But the reason why I'm doing this is because I've started doing it already and it's, I just want consistency in my builds. And this is what I've been primarily doing on everything else. So gonna keep going with the same thing. This is charcoal gray that I'm gonna dry brush on here now. And try to go against the grain a little bit, just so it pops out more. Now when I do the steps, I want the center part to be worn, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a lot of gray in the center area. And then I'll do paths to each one of those, just to show that it's worn more in the center. All right, I'm gonna dry brush hippo gray. Just one, I'll do one more layer after this of a, of a lighter gray, but I'm just gonna go through. I'm not gonna do as heavy as I did the previous gray. Just gonna kinda hit it a little lighter, less paint, not as heavy on the brush. I'm gonna do cabinet gray now. It's just the lightest gray I'm gonna go. And I don't want very much paint on my brush. Uh, I wanna be light and I'm gonna hit the edge. Ugh. I'm gonna hit the edges mostly. You 
except where it's worn. I'm gonna dry brush khaki on the ropes. After I dry brush those khaki, I just put a sepia wash over top of them. And now I'm gonna do a copper on this bell. So I can, and it's a layer, so it doesn't go on thick. I have a copper somewhere else, that's where it's at. So I'm gonna have to do a few coats, and then after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the technical paint. Um, something oxide. Nye, how lock, oh, I don't crap, I don't, know how to, I don't know how to say it. Well, that's it. Uh, here it is. Uh, I don't know. This kind of helps the scale. But I wanted to do a few different things. One was is my friend has a tree lord head that I stole from him. Well, he let me have his bits box. Uh, I shouldn't say have the whole thing, but it was in my possession and still is in my possession. And I'm pilfering from it. But anyway, that's that came from that and added a swing, saw it in a random picture somewhere. I don't even remember where I saw it. I wanted to add a little girl in a dress on there from, oh, what's that video game where she has that big robot, the white eyes, my kids told me that one. Uh, I don't remember. Anyway, I was, gonna, I was trying to find something like that to add to the creep factor, but I couldn't. And there is something that I probably will add down the road. I just didn't have time for it now. But I'll probably do that just because I think it's funny. Well, it came out bad. Anyway, uh, anyway, just want to add some different things to it. The bell, uh, was a, I realized I didn't shoot that part as far as insulation was concerned. That bell is just a bell from a jewelry shop. It's like one of the little trinket, trinkets from your charm bracelets. And, well, not jewelry. When I say jewelry, I mean craft store. Pretty much everything's either craft store or hobby store. Uh, but anyway, that's where that came from. Painted that up with copper, and then I did that word paint I can't pronounce. And I did that, and I think I've done it on other copper in some of my other videos. Anyway, that's where that bell came from. And then I just did the rope thing, glued that in with super glue. And, oh, uh, I know I did it in another video. <sighs> I don't remember. Anyway, that's where I came from. If you have any questions or comments on this, uh, leave them below. Uh, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Uh, but there's not a whole lot to it uh, as far as that is concerned. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and um, if you want to do something for me, uh, you can share it. I appreciate that. Share it out there or share any other videos that I have. Uh, I should say that we have, but that I have done tutorials on. That'd be awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, glad you could join me and hope you have a fantastic evening uh, or unless it's a day or morning. But anyway, hope all is treating you well in your hobby and hope things are going smooth and hope you have a good time and uh, hope to see you again soon, like maybe in a week. Right? Right? Am I right? Yeah, a week. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. Maybe it's a full moon. Oh, it's close to Halloween. That's maybe what it is. Anyway, there you go. That's it. Have a good one. And remember what my mother used to always say, that anyone can do art. And I believe it. Ciao, baby. I don't know.